shit. What is up, gang? Welcome back to another Utah travel vlog. Um, sorry that I slacked on the YouTube videos last week. Me and Jake both kind of needed a break from producing that many YouTube videos. Um, he it was sick as a dog, and I was dealing with some stuff behind the scenes. But I'm excited to announce um, that the event that I will be doing my little giveaway in uh, LA will be on the 23rd the 23rd of December um, I wanted to do it the 16th but I am going to be in Utah on the 16th um, as today is the 14th but uh, yeah I'm all packed up got the bags right there and uh, I'm ready to go I want you guys actually to see this my newest purchase off of TikTok shop a uh, little Gengar mirror. But, uh, yeah, it is 7 o'clock, and I'm going to go to bed by 10 o'clock so that I can get some real sleep before my flight, and then taking off, coming to Utah. Uh, every time I go to Utah, I really kind of love it because Utah is such a beautiful place, and it's such a cool spot. Um, I always enjoy my time when I'm there. And me and Drew Cronin and Ethan Decker are going to be shooting some pretty cool shit for Young LA. I'm going to get a good lift in because I'm not sick this time around. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some serious calories in so I can have a good pump. Ain't nothing much else to say. Um, it's been a rough week, but I've just been trying to keep my head up, keep uh, keep God first, keep praying. And it's hard, man. It's really It really is hard. So uh, I just want to remind you guys, just be yourself. Uh, there's nothing that you can do to change the situation that you're in uh, all at once. So take it one day at a time, uh, one meal at a time, one step at a time, one thing at a time. And uh, yeah, just be you, gang. Uh, I love you guys so much, and I would hate to see any of you guys suffering. So I will see you guys at 4.30 tomorrow morning. My flight takes off at 6.30, so I got to get to the airport by six ish and i got that means i gotta wake up shower get a meal in It'll probably take me about a half hour and then head to the airport by five or leave for the airport by five so yeah good night gang good morning it is uh 4 47 let's go to utah so because i live so far from LAX. I forgot that I scheduled my flight for Burbank Airport and I could have gotten an extra half hour of sleep because it's only a half hour away. Um, damn, that sucks. Waking up this early for flights does not get any easier, but it is like 5.10, 5.15. I just got my cold shower done and put my stuff in the car, so... Wow, I'm fucking tired, man. We made it. G-Spall just dropped me off in the Tesla. Fuck, I'm trying to get a Tesla, man. But, uh, yeah, I land tomorrow night. All this clothing is literally all the stuff that I'm shooting for uh, in, like, five hours. I love flying to Utah for these like day trips because I <laughs> it's like I go there for one night and I come back the next day in like 36 hours I fly out I land at 10 a.m. and I leave at 8 p.m. like the night after you know like not even 36 hours later but you know it is what it is man made it through TSA with my fucking ball no, I'm playing. Joking, but did make it through TSA relatively quickly. We are headed to gate A7. And uh, yeah, this is why I fly Bob Hope instead of LAX at any opportunity I get. This airport is so much smaller and so much quieter. So when you choose early morning flights, Anyways, because I have to be there for as long as possible during those two days, it makes the most sense to just fly a smaller airport. Time to go.
made it. My cross is hanging out my hoodie. <laughs> my hands are full. I was praying as we were landing. Got some unexpected air. And uh, if you guys haven't figured out yet from the travel vlogs previously, I hate turbulence. It's like the worst thing ever. But damn, dude. Once again, as we as I walk in out into the the uh, Utah airport, it's like the quietest place on earth. I was saying how Burbank is quiet, dude. Utah's another level. These fools are just mad polite. <laughs> I just checked in with Ethan on the way out. And uh, yeah, ride's almost here. Excuse me. So I'm gonna put my headphones away and use the bathroom real quick and then ooh, see you guys outside. I learned my lesson from the last time I was here. Instead of bringing a giant puffer, I just layered up. I got a wife beater, a t-shirt, and a hoodie. And uh, it's like 40 degrees outside, but it feels perfect. I love cold weather. So now we're just waiting on Ethan to come pick us up, pick me up. Now I'm just, god dang, dude, why do I talk like that? I'm just waiting on Ethan to come pick me up. And then uh, we're gonna link up with Drew and get into it, baby. Ah, we're here with the boy. And uh, we just got food and coffee. Um, I'm fucking tired, so I didn't vlog any of it, but um, we ended up switching today's film day with tomorrow. So today we're going to hit back at the refinery, Max Taylor's home gym, get some cool content, some good clips there, and uh, shoot some shit for Bucked Up while I'm in Utah, because I'm only in Utah a couple times a year. So thumbs up, and uh, let's get to it. Guess where we're at? Damn, where's the sign? Oh, there it is. All right, uh, Ethan gave me his lens. Anyways, we pulled up to the wrong fucking spot. So we are at the HQ now. What? Wait, there we go. Say what's up. What's up? And look how beautiful these damn mountains are, bro. Every time I come to Utah, I'm always absolute. Oh, dude. Yeah. Every time I come to Utah, I'm just absolutely shocked at how beautiful it is here. Anyways, I'm sipping on a gym and juice. Uh, your boy likes caffeine. Anyways, we're going to get in here. I got some product shots to shoot and ah, look, it's just some regular shit. So I'm going to hand the camera to Ethan. You got your shirt card. Doesn't matter. We use all the variants. Sweet. Okay, we're going to have him uh, check out a. Okay. So yeah, you can choose any of these in your size, Sweet. any color. Um, yeah, we, we, we saw all those colors. I might, uh, I might shoot like two or three different ones. Hey, he's walking back. You guys, you guys can whatever. So she's like. Right, we just robbed the fucking store blind. I haven't gotten a tub of Mother Bucker yet, so I stole a tub of Mother Bucker and some Sour Bucks bucked up stuff for today's lift. Um, but yeah, uh, I just got the rundown for the ad we have to shoot. So now me and Ethan are headed to the gym to get a good back day in. And uh, yeah, let's get it going, baby. So long awaited, we just pulled up to the refinery. Shout out John, uh, the owner, six foot six dude. And uh, just looks ridiculously strong. Um, yeah, Max works out here, and I've heard a lot of good things about this gym, so we're gonna get in there, film some good content, uh, get some long form for you guys, as well as some short form, and hit back. I got a wife lover on, and uh, this shirt is from a dispensary. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, apparently they have nugget ice in here, which is like my favorite thing on the planet. If you've never had nugget ice before, it's that shit they serve at Chick-fil-A. Um, but yeah, let's get in there, have a good lift. Gentle. 
problem. A lot of people know me, bro. It's like the first time that I've been at a gym where you like, it's like mandatory not to slam the weight. So, gotta be gentle today. Finished up. Oh god. Whoa, so bro. brutal back day. If you can't tell by the fact that I'm like out of breath, my back is fried, absolutely. And I'm actually kind of excited for you guys to see the pics from this workout. I've never had somebody following me around with a camera and take pictures. Uh, only ever videos for YouTube for y'all. As you guys know, you're my family. But uh, yeah, we're gonna check out the posing room, get a quick posing clip, uh, get some posing pics. And then we're going to this food spot, which I'm excited to vlog because that shit sounds gas. They have a buffalo chicken bowl, as Ethan is saying, and also an acai bowl. But uh, yeah, we decided to move the Young LA shoot to tomorrow so Drew can get some rest. Shout out homie, he just ran his first marathon. Absolutely killed it. I might as well tell you all about this. Um, there's a $10 deal on Bucked Up right now. Uh, you can get a shaker, a shirt, and five stick packs for like 10 bucks. I mean, as you guys already know, code T-Spool. If you wanna buy Bucked Up uh, right now, until the end of December, there is a 40% uh, off sale through my TikTok shop. So, if you're looking for new pre, uh, if you want Woke AF or Mother Bucker, I think those are the only two pre's that are 40% off. You'd be helping me out like crazy, 30% commission on that. So, uh, how about your boy? But also, uh, if you're not looking for new pre, don't worry about it. Just know that I love you. I got some unfortunate news for you guys. Sadly, this awesome travel vlog where I had a lot of awesome information for you guys and was able to really connect with you guys um, because I was really connected to the content and the message. Unfortunately, uh, my camera was switched to S and Q mode, which slows everything down and removes the audio. So I fucked up big time. Unfortunately, the rest of what you guys will be watching uh, is just a little edit that Jake whipped up. Uh, he just called me and told me that the footage is all fucked up. So I'm pressed. This was supposed to be an awesome vlog, but uh, yeah, enjoy this little edit of my time in Utah, hanging out with the gentleman. Um, I had a great trip. So shout out to Ethan and to Drew and to the owner of the refinery. Uh, yeah, enjoy.
guys enjoyed that. And uh, I'll, I'm just going to reiterate the messages that I gave during the little talking portions that got cut out. Basically, I want you guys to remember that in this life, uh, it is so short and we have to remember to live. And what I mean by that is instead of staying all up in your head about things and not forgiving yourself for things and dwelling on things and just not letting yourself experience life to the fullest possibility, just live. Uh, if there's something that you are regretting, if there's something that you're holding on to, if there's something that's really bothering you spiritually or emotionally, you know, pray about it. Or, or, you know, if you don't believe in that kind of thing, then meditate about it and figure it out. This life is so short and we only have one shot. And so by making it impossible to live and making it hard to, making it hard to just exist and be human, you know, we, we mess up life and we can't do it on our own. So talk to your loved ones, make sure that you are tied in well with the people around you and lean into the light and lean into the love around you. Just live your life. The one thing that I want for you guys from, from me is to understand that I want nothing more from this life than to be known for how well I was able to love other people. I want you guys to know how deeply you are cared about, how deeply um, you are, how deeply you're loved. You may not have people in your life that are able to communicate that to you, or you may be in a spot where it's kind of hard to feel that love around you, but do what you can to just be you. Remember that we're all human, and remember that this life is temporary. The same set of problems that you're dealing with right now, in six months from now, you will be dealing with something completely different, and this will be nothing but a season, a phase, a memory, and uh, remember that I love you, gang. Remember that God loves you. God loves you so individually, so deeply, so personally, and uh, yeah, I just want you guys to know that. I want you guys to know how important you guys are as individuals. Uh, everybody in this life is important. Everybody has something to give, something to offer, something to, uh, something to share. So remember that and remember that you are your own individual person. Don't try and live somebody else's life. And overall conduct yourself in a matter that is honest and out of a place of love. There is out of everybody that I've met, there is never somebody that I've met that I would say is unimportant. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another YouTube video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that this got cut short, but uh, you know, sometimes things like this happen. And yeah, I'm grateful for you guys. Uh, practice gratefulness this week and stay blessed. Remember that I love you, remember that God loves you, and have a blessed day, night, or evening, wherever you're at, gang. Peace out, I'll see you guys in the next one. Side note, on the 23rd of this month, uh, this upcoming Saturday, at Simi Valley Crunch, I will be doing a giveaway starting at 12.30 p.m. Uh, make sure that you guys are there. If you would like to come, you are more than welcome to come. I'll post the address on my Instagram. So uh, I'm actually super excited. I have a bunch of Young LA clothing. I have a bunch of regiment jewelry. I have a bunch of my old thrifty clothes, uh, some pairs of shoes. I'm gonna bring some food and uh, yeah, I'm out of here, gang. Thank you guys so much for watching. and. Uh, Come meet me, let's lift. Uh, let me be able to minister to you guys, give away stuff and uh, give back to the community. I love you gang, peace.